something. Let me just uh, let's use this uh, tool that I've never used before, and uh, it will show you an example of it. So there you go, outpost firewall pop-up coming in. I never usually use that interface uh, that I had previously. I usually only use that interface. So what I could do is only allow it. It will allow it only once. So this is the default, allow once. If I go in uh, the auto learn mode, it will ask me how long uh, do I always allow them. So it will make a rule. Here you see it creates a rule. It will uh, keep making rules uh, up to the uh, auto learn mode is uh, done. So let me show you what auto learn mode looks like. <coughs> oh, uh, I have to do this. I'll show you after. So uh, yes, it will create a rule. Uh, sometimes it has uh, some some choices, but I, I almost always use custom because I'm, I'm it's it's um, more detail. You know, it's uh, you take wide and goes uh, to smaller. If you use custom, it's uh, smaller. Uh, I, I showed you allow before. That's uh, that rule is one thing. Rule this is something else, and allow block is something else. So allow block is only once. So you see, you can block only once. You can also terminate it. It's in case it was already started, and it, because it asked for a network connection, you want to stop it. Because I just told you, it has two purposes: one uh, blocks uh, accessing from uh, other software, and the other asking for connection. So let's say it, it oh, you can allow it accessing connections and then you, you, it starts asking for a network and say oh my god this uh, so software should never ask for uh, connections so obviously it's uh, bad and has bad intentions so let's terminate it or always terminate it see that's that's a rule right here it's a rule so in, instead of next time asking for a pop up it will automatically do what i made it what I made the rule to do so the rule will be to block it and this rule here will be to allow it so let's go make a rule here uh, you can uh, have, have a nice interface uh, instead of writing writing manually this stuff and learning the code so uh, checking this will do this code so you might want to learn this code uh, by uh, uh, when you do it uh, and uh, then you will make the rule uh, sometimes it comes two, three times, uh, depending on the software. Sometimes even ten times. And uh, okay, uh, this software needed something, uh, another software to be open. Uh, uh, let's not go into that software. I really don't care about that software. I just wanted to show you the pop-up that comes in when I use Apple's firewall, uh, as I'm not using this interface usually. So uh, see, this software is uh, trusted. I allow it to use other software. Uh, when I click a link, it will uh, use my default uh, browser to go to that link. And I also allow it to use network because I want to. Uh, this will check out if it needs. Uh, it has an update, so I allow both. Sometimes it uh, only allow network. Here, this one uh, checks for update, but I, I don't. I don't trust it enough to use other softwares. So and the other way around. Sometimes I uh, only allow to use other softwares and not allow it to use network. So you see how this uh, goes. And let's go back to uh, firewall here. Uh, you can use a more uh, higher degree of uh, protection and a lower degree of protection. Like most things in life, it has two sides. It has a double-edged sword. Uh, good things comes with bad things. So here, if I use more protection, it will ha means less freedom on my uh, my desktop. And the other way around, if I use uh, less protection, it will has more have more freedom. So you see, uh, you can tweak the degree here. So. Uh, Yes, so let's go back uh, to uh, re recapitulate uh, the, uh, the, um, the firewall. Uh, yes, so the firewall, oops, here. The firewall protects f from a uh, connection coming in. It interposes itself. So imagine in a box around here, there will be the operating systems. It, it, there's here a little part only for the connection coming in. That's a regular uh, network firewall. And because this one also protects from uh, 
software imagine here other pieces and all around the operating system beside this one and that part will be uh, the anti-leak uh, protection or the enter software uh, connection so uh, this one is a pretty good uh, uh, firewall it's I think it's a really good firewall so this will be the end of uh, of the uh, firewall operating system firewall uh, chapter. Uh, I'll see you to my next chapter.